Hello everyone, Stardust King here, and welcome back to Gundam Battle Gunpla Warfare. Today we'll be doing an analysis slash showcase of the Gundam Heavy Arms. First, we're gonna, you know, show you where you can get it. Go to the shop. Go to the uh, coin exchange. Heavy weaponry coin exchange. And there you have it. Uh, it comes with seven parts in total. A head, a body, the arms, the legs, the backpack, a beam Gatling gun, and the uh, pilot, Troa Barton. All in all, if you want at least one of each part, 8, 24, 48, you'll need uh, 98 heavy weaponry coins. Assuming I got it right. You can get those from uh, doing the event. I actually have an event guide that I'm about to post as soon as I get finished with this video. And I'll probably be linking it right about now. So if you guys want to go ahead and pop over and watch that one too if you're interested. It will be much appreciated. Also. Let's go to the achievement list real quick, just for a split second. I don't usually do this, but it ties in to the parts. If you get 30,000 event points, 40,000, 50,000, 60,000, 70,000, uh, 70, 80,000, and 90,000, you can get the already five star version of all the pieces. Anyways, without further ado, let's take a look at the Gundam Heavy Arms. So we probably switch this to a uh, mid suitor. Anyways, let's take a look at the helmet. Max value. It has some decent shot. Uh, yeah, shot attack. The base. It's a lot better than most of the uh, three stars that's been coming out with the events. And you have beam ranged weapon magazine boosted by up to 25, uh, 20%. You'll see this part trait a lot, TBH, because it's scattered throughout the whole mobile suit. I do like how the heavy arms look, though, TBH. Uh, I mean, it's not something... If you don't have anything else, I would say go for it, TBH. In terms of head, well, Gundam heads, mobile suit heads, event mobile suit heads, it's actually rather nice, in my opinion. But that's just as a free-to-play player. I don't really have all my stuff anymore. After I lost my account. Anyways. Max value. It has, ooh, this has some uh, really decent armor. And some shot attack too. Especially for a chest. And you have chest mounted Gatling and machine cannons. Category physical shot. Pierce A minus. Power C minus. Cool down 21 seconds. First time 3 seconds. I'll just say up to 21 seconds. And up to seconds anyways I actually really like the suit TBH I probably won't like the EX kill but you never know we'll have to try it out which we will and that's also a good contender contender for parts I guess TBH has some decent armor especially if you can compare it to uh, other things oh well let's not compare it to an actual four star let's compare it to a three star But it has some shot attack. There you go. It's leaning more towards shot attack. Yeah. Anyways, next weapon. Am I missing a weapon? Oh yeah, I'm missing a Gatling gun. For some odd reason, I don't have it equipped. Do I not? Did I not purchase one? Oh, I did. Here it is. I guess what's say. Only thing is, this Gundam doesn't come with is a melee weapon. By the way, I throw that out there. Anyways, yeah, these are definitely not recommended to spend your time on. They have no melee attack, no shot attack. Although arms don't have uh, shot attack, anyways. Well. The Sokai Festival banner ones for this one actually do have some good shot attack arms. No armor, 
No beam resistance, physical resistance, uh, something below average melee and shot defense. And uh, aerial spin, category physical melee, pierce D, power, B plus, cooldown 20 seconds, first time 6 seconds. Launch an acrobatic blow with the knife on your forearm, lowers hit enemy gun plus melee attack by 19%. Yeah, it's not a bad EX skill, but the arms are, are are really bad in my opinion. Although all the arms for the uh for the free mobile or free event mobile suits have been rather bad in my opinion. For at least for the last like three. I wish I had my rising arms back though. Otherwise I didn't lose my account. Cause apparently those are like gods here. You know, Pretty decent, I guess, for legs. Teammates, their legs. Not really much you can expect. With technique attributes, self so long shot attack raised by up to 14%. Okay, now this this is something I I really want for the most part. Uh, after the event is over and the other event is over, I'll probably put them on my main Gundam. Well, my main Gundam, I mean my main long shooter Gundam. TBH. If you have like a long shot, well, if you're like a long shooter, I, well, I mean, they're they're good, I guess. I like them. I like them a lot. Anyways, the backpack, then the heavy arms. It's a backpack. It has decent stats overall, I guess, for a backpack. Anyways, being Gatling. Category being shot, Pierce A minus, Power D, Magazine 11, Cooldown 60 seconds, first time 0 seconds. Fire the Gatling gun suspended on your back. You can move while firing. And you have the Beam Gatling. It's combined with the shield, which I don't really see that often, TBH. Actually, haven't seen this before. Uh, range weapon combined with a shield. Anyways, it has some decent armor. Okay, melee defense is kind of lacking. Shot defense is low average, I guess. Beam resistance and physical resistance are below average. Shot attack is really below average, but at the same time, this thing shoots a lot. So, if you can actually build around this, like have an actual decent shot attack while you have this I'm telling you guys this will probably be a boss killer TBH well not on a big zam because big zam is immune to uh, range by three. well if you from far away there you go let's put it that way I actually really want to spend some points on that because I'm I know that's going to be good in the future I just know it and it comes with the shield as I said before and last but not least we have the pilot Pilot, <coughs> sorry, Toro Barden. He has some really good shot attack for a three star that I've seen. Tbh, other stats are decent. Some are below average, but that's okay. And all range, uh, all weapon magazine boost about fourteen percent. All range weapon magazine boost about fourteen percent. Well, up to fourteen percent. And that's about it. Well, besides this whole thing, it's a technique Gundam, and with the pilot, you'll be getting middle shooter job license. Anyways, the part traits being range weapon magazine boosted by nine percent. With technique attribute self long shot attack raised by a certain amount. Being range weapon magazine boosted by a certain percent. Okay, this is a beam. Okay, okay, just making sure. Because you never know. Some of these freaking. The Vent Mobile suits have been all over the place. TBH, I'm not gonna fake. And all range weapon magazine boosted by a certain amount. So you have three things that increase the uh, range weapon magazine boosted for the, uh, for uh, beam weapons. And one for. Uh, I don't know. One is clear for all range weapons, anyways. No. Troll Barton isn't a bad pilot, TBH, in my opinion. I'll probably use him for my other mid shooters. Yeah, he's definitely a good mid shooter. 
especially seeing as I don't really have any, so yeah. And last but not least, that's not what I wanted. The word traits. You'll be getting eight high firepower, which is really good. Four tundra. Uh, you get you get five of them, and you get three four base. Hey. High firepower, anyways. Raises melee and shot attack by five percent. For base, raises all parameters one percent more active. Base category gets an extra three percent boost. Now, if I'm reading this correctly, I just thought you didn't get a boost at all if you weren't on a like base type map. No, you get a one percent boost to all your parameters. So, if you're on a base, you get an extra three percent. So it's not as bad as I thought, and Fort Tundra is the same, except, you know, raises all parameters while 1% while active. Well, raises all parameters 1% while active, Tundra category gets an extra 3%. I mean, not the best. Uh, war attacks? But it could be worse. Put it that way. And now, what you've all been waiting for. Hating. Let's see what it looks like. Again, everything looks good in the Zaku colors. For some unknown, bizarre reason. At least in my opinion. Kind of looks good in the golf. Oof. Still don't know how to pronounce that. Doesn't look bad in how you see the colors. Sorry, I'm going a little bit fast for you guys. But for most people. I just stop whenever. Again, the dual Gundam looks absolutely amazing. I'm really glad I got all the pieces so I can get this color. You know, straight green frame. It doesn't look bad in the green frame colors too, honestly. Stargazer, eh, Kefron, eh, eh. It kind of doesn't look bad in the Rose and Zulu colors. Pending. Diane. That looks bad in that color. Also, it seems like my dad is back. Mobile Sumo. Global Kapoor. Gundam Gushin. So I'm at the uh, rush real quick. Right, that's what marble looks like. That doesn't look too bad. Anyways, one more last stop. No, and then we're gonna go, uh. What's his face? Anyway, let's see collections. And we're gonna go test out the EX skills. Cause this time I did not forget anything. I did not. No, I did not. Now we have the box art. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Right. Now let's go test out the skills. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I almost want to test out a free mission. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna do it. It's not strong enough. Unlike the other mobile suits I've had. I haven't, uh, I haven't actually been leveling this one up as I go. So we're going to our favorite place. The only place we test out missions. Well, a bit mobile suits. 1-1. One one. No. So I'm going to try to upload these while watching uh, What's His Face. Uh, What's His Face? I'm talking about uh, Vinland Saga. The world's gonna watch our one piece, but uh, does it come out? Since I've been got one. Yeah, that's gonna be a boss killer. I can't, no, but nobody can tell me otherwise. Nobody. It doesn't have that much range. But look how much it shoots, my god. And this is a like. The lowest of all the part traits, the uh, percentage that you get. 
movie you get up to 20%, 40%. Let's see, 54%. And you can just spray this all day long, especially if you get like close up. I'm not close up. How does it shoot regularly? Ah, uh, if you shoot it regularly, it does like a burst. And you can't move while you're doing it. Anyways, let's use this. Okay. That's not what I expected. That's gonna be easy to interrupt. What about this? Not bad. Yeah, just look at that. It just chews through it. Now, what I will say is that the beam gatling on the back will probably be a good EX skill for long shooters. However, it comes back way too slowly. If you have the TR1, I recommend that over this CB8. Because the TR1 does like, as you clearly saw in the, uh, the What's His Face, my event thing. Well, you, you guys haven't seen it. You probably, probably, probably won't even watch that. But uh, my uh, current uh, TR1 chest does 3,800 a hit on EX level difficulties. And it shoots four missiles, so that's 1,600. Well, 16,000. Basically. Anyways. That's actually a really interesting EX heal. One that I'll probably invest in. But yeah, that's the uh, Gundam Heavy Arms. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like and possibly subscribe. Big ultra more you know, but it's talking up to you. Sorry, I had to. I burp like a little bit. And oof. Let's probably redo that. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and possibly subscribe. It helps more you know, but it's entirely up to you. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, just let me know down in the comments. But until then, I'll see everyone on the next part of my, uh, or on the next CBGW video.